Hey, what's up everyone? It's Rayvon from Love Lola. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install these grommets. These are grommets with little D-rings that are attached to them and they're available on my website. You can add them to the side of a bag like this. And I just attach my spool hook, my strap to it. Or like this one, you can add it to the top, you know, and then you can carry your bag like you normally would. So it's just really good for doing easy modifications. I personally like to add them at the very end of when I make a bag because then I can just pull my flap down and make my hold and everything all at one time and get it attached at the very end. So that's that's the way that I really do recommend it. I did have someone ask if these were sturdy, these grommets. They're, they're great. I mean, I've had them on numerous bags of mine that I've had for years now that I wear all the time and I've never had an issue. So as long as you're interfacing and stabilizing your grommets and um, that's what I do for any hardware that I, that I add to a bag. I'm going to have interface and stabilizer behind it. So as long as you're doing that, you're good to go. These grommets aren't going to give you any problems. Treat it like a normal grommet. For example, here is another grommet that I have used to get a to run a chain through. Okay, and this grommet goes through your exterior and your lining. You don't want to put it in between because then you can see the hole. You know what I mean? So I do recommend that you put your grommets between, I mean, you include your lining and your exterior in it. I just realized I have this vinyl right here that I'm going to be using. It's kind of a lot, right? <laughs> Sorry. But um, if you like these little bags, how? cute and adorable. I like a tiny bag. So this is my Vonnie pattern that I came up with that um, I haven't released yet because I got busy and I put it off, but I'm back on it. I'm finishing it up and it does come with three sizes. This is the small size because I love a tiny bag, but I know, I know a lot of people don't. So for that reason, I went back and kind of redid my pattern a little bit. And now um, it's going to be coming with three sizes. So this is the small This, this one is the medium size. And because my mom came and convinced me to make a large, there's also going to be a large size. <laughs> I'm still working on that one. But um, yeah, this is my Vani. I'm going to be, it's my baby, I love it so much. I'm gonna be teaching this class in Vegas. So if you are available in June, I believe it's June the 20th, then I would love for you to come and meet me in Vegas so we can sew together and just chat it up. You know, do a little gambling, do a little drinking, a little something, something. But yeah, I'm gonna be there with Sewcation Sewing Expo. There's gonna be a lot of great vendors there, a lot of classes. So um, yeah, meet me in Vegas if you can. It's gonna be so dope. But anyway, back to the topic these grommets let's get these grommets added to your bag all right i had this out because this is what i'm going to use but i probably should have waited to put it out if you like this vinyl this is one of my love loa vinyls um i just did a pre-order for it so it hasn't quite made it in yet it just landed in california uh yesterday or day before so it'll be in in a few days so if you're waiting on a pre-order that I placed April the 20th, that pre-order will be ready to go in, um, in a few days. And I also I always order extra retail when I do pre-orders, but not a lot. <laughs> so um, it's first come, first serve. So this will be back in stock in about a week or so. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over and baste it really quick because... Like I said, you do want this grommet to go through two pieces of material. So I'm going to do that just to be a little realistic. Now I am going to take the back off.
And this is what we got at this point. You've got your regular two holes that you would have on any grommet, and then you also have this groove over here where your little D-ring is. So that's what we're working with now. So for our next step, instead of just adding two holes like we normally do for a grommet, we're gonna be adding four holes. So I'm going to use my back to trace inside of that circle and also two dots. And then I'm gonna add two more dots because like I said, we need to accommodate that other space. If you have dye, go ahead and get them out. If you don't, you can use your scissors to cut it. Whatever you have will work. Get yourself a piece of stabilizer and do the same thing, get that cut out. Now I do like to do this, like I said, on the flap because whenever I make my flaps, I always interface and stabilize my flap because I like it to have a little bit of a stiffness to it. So at the very end, when it's time to get my grommet added, that stabilizer is already in there and I don't have to worry about it. But if you are adding it to the side of a bag like this or just whatever you're doing and it's not the stabilizer already in there, then just make sure you get it added yourself. Now the hardest part to me when I first did this was holding this bar while I got it attached. But once you do it a couple times, you'll get used to it. So first I'm going to open this up and place my, inter my stabilizer in place. Okay. Now I want to place this over this lock. If you have a preference of your bar going either up or down or side to side, then make note of that before you add it. Okay, so what you want is for the grooves. So just like a regular grommet, you're gonna have that groove that goes around. And what you're trying to do right now is get your material and your stabilizer to just kind of go behind that. Just kind of fit into that groove. If, if you need to make a few more trims, cuts to get it there, then do it, but don't overcut because then you're gonna lose your material. Okay, just take it and, and tuck it in as best as you can before you make a cut. But if you do have to make a cut, go ahead and make a cut. If you want, you can go ahead and get glue attached in there. Um, if you want to use some sort of jewelry glue, you can go ahead and drop it inside of those holes um, if you would like. Once you're happy with the placement, go ahead and get the back placed over it. Again, just tucking your material right over those grooves. Now you're going to place your back on and make sure that your holes are lined up with the holes for the screws. All right. Grab your screws. And there we go. Pretty cool, right? Now you can add a swivel hook, a spring lock, whatever your heart desires. You can add a chain directly to this. You know that the possibilities are endless. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions or concerns whatsoever, just leave me a comment down below or you can go to my website, lovelittlelooks.com and shoot me a email or a little chat on my site. That's it. Bye.